of this three-game set between the Penn State Nittany Lions and the Michigan State Spartans. I am Adam Sheets, joined by my broadcast partner, Chris Reynolds. And, Chris, we've been here all weekend. Nittany Lions winning the first two, looking for the sweep today. Yeah, in game one, won 10 to 0 was a dominant performance, but Michigan State fought back and had a closer game yesterday, losing six. Weekend at all three positions. The 2-1, that one swung on him, popped up out into center. Liana Jones going back onto the track, sets and makes the catch. And there's a first out for the Nittany Lions. We'll take a look at the Penn State defense here. As it's been good all weekend. Beige Maynard, as we mentioned, will be in the circle for the Nittany Lions. Ready for a little slap hit in the shallow infield. The 3-1, that one high, and it'll be a walk. And Michigan State gets a base runner here in the top of the first. You mentioned the umpire. Do. 3-2 count, one out here in the top of the first. The payoff pitch, swing and a miss, and Paige Maynard's got her first strikeout of the day here in the top of the first. There's two down. Yeah, way to respond there from Paige. The catch. <laughs> Maynard, the 2-1, swing and a miss. Stealings Fox, the throwdown will not be in time as gets off base. So a stolen base for Anna Fox, and she'll be in scoring position. Was a strike, so the count moves 2-2. Two two. two strikes, two outs in the top of the first. Maynard, the 2-2, lined right back up. It'll get through for a base hit. Fox rounds third. She'll head home. Jones loses the ball for a second, able to get it in. It'll be an RBI single for Britton Bashirs. And just like yesterday, the Spartans strike first. They lead 1-0. Yeah, they're responding, coming out of the gates quickly. And we talked about it, getting that stolen base. She said the words, I hope that goes both ways, meaning hope it's consistent in that call not being called for Penn State. That one popped up out the right. Brunson settles under it and makes the catch to retire the side. Not before the Spartans score one run on one hit, one left on the base pass. Michigan State leads 1-0. We head to the bottom of the first on Big Ten Plus. Penn State earlier on Friday went two innings. You have two hits, one walk, a double hit, a batter, one strikeout, no runs. First pitch swinging. Gordon pops it up out into center. Alexis Ross settles under it and makes the catch. So first pitch swing was Maddie Gordon, but a pop-up out to center field. Nine times this season. 2-2, that one hit her right in the shoulder, and Morrison's going to make her way over to first on the hit-by-pitch. Penn State's got a base runner against the Michigan State defense that has been good this series. Two for five, two runs, four RBIs, and that home run. There goes Morrison. She's stealing that one thrown over to the second baseman, Collect Allen. So a stolen base here for the Nittany Lions. Count is 0-2, though, as that one fell in for a strike. The opportunity here with Caitlin Morrison standing on second. The 1-0 swung on and grounded over to Allen, able to make the pitch over to Bashirs in time. And Michigan State will take a 1-0 lead to the top of the second, looking to pull off the upset here. Maynard, first pitch to Allen. That one swung in and popped up out on the right. Going back to the wall. This one is off the wall and will bounce. Brunson will take it off the wall. Rounding first hey for seconds, Colette Allen. And a leadoff double for the Spartans. As the bats are alive for Michigan State as they have a runner in scoring position with nobody down in the top two-third. Showing bunt again, laying it down. That one popped up, and diving was Paletti. I'm going to make it, and the throw, no throw down by Maynard. So Paletti tried to catch it out of the air, and now runners on the corners with nobody out. Perfectly executed bunt there by Bain. Mick Anthony now steps in, tries to show down bunt, and going and walking in safely with a stolen base will be Kayla Bain. She kind of just walks her way to second. Was with this part of the lineup because you don't want to have Hannah Hawley, you know, for example, up with more people on base. 2-1, swung on and grounded over. Now get through for a base hit. Coming into scores, Colette Allen rounding third and heading home is Bain. She'll go in safely, and it's a two-RBI single for Mick Anthony, and the Spartans open up their largest lead of the series as they lead 3-0. Yeah, hit that ch hard chopper through the middle. Nothing can really do. Just hit it hard, and then... We're at two center field, Deanna Jones, not able to, not going to be able to throw anyone at home. But it's a good throw home. Jonah Pletty cut it off because she realized she did not want the runner to advance too. They're already making her work for it. Volpe, the payoff pitch, slapped over. Going back, Morrison will get over her glove, and it will be a base hit. Sliding in safely is Mick Anthony. Infield was in just a little bit, and that one creeped right over Caitlin Morrison's head. And now two on with nobody out in the spot. Infield double play depth for the Nittany Lions. Three balls, two strikes, nobody out. Michigan State leading 3-0 here at Beal Fear. The payoff pitch, that one misses just on the outside corner. And it will be a walk. And Lynchin walked in the first, did come around to score in that first inning. That slap hit right to Morrison. Will make the catch for one. The throw to third in time. It's a double play. 
Amazing job there, Caitlin Morrison with a great catch and heads up play, throws it over to Maddox in time. And now there's two down and two on for the Spartans and Penn State looking to try to get out of this with only giving up the two runs. Yes, yeah, an absolute great catch by Caitlin Morrison, but especially the heads up decision. She could have stepped on second, but knew that there was the runner at third, wanting to get the lead runner out, and she did that. And now Maddie Volpe gets a double play, and there's only two people on and no run scored there. First pitch swing is Dolazeki. That one to get it out in the right center. Will it drop? Yes, it will. Coming in to score is Alexis Ross. And Bashirs will get some runners on the corners. An RBI single for Sydney Dolazeki. Only took her one pitch. We're still trying to recap the double play. Hannah Holly stands on third. Bashir's looking to add on to a 4-0 Spartan lead. The 1-2. Swing and a miss. And Volpe gets her first strikeout of the day. And Penn State will head to the bottom of the second, trailing by four here on Big Ten Plus. Now, Bianca Jones gets another life. Jones with two balls and two strikes. Looking to get Penn State a base runner here in the bottom of the second, trailing by four. The 2-2. Swing and a miss. And a strikeout for Ashton Roberts. Still off to a hot start for the Spartans. So they're looking for their first win of the five doubles and four triples. A 1 0. This will be grounded. Will bounce over the first baseman, Bashirs, for a base hit. And Maddox able to get on. And Penn State's got a base runner here in the bottom of the second. Took a great bounce just right over Bashir's head. Yeah. Hernandez shows the bat, she pulls back, pops it up out in a shallow center field. Going back and making the catch is Colette Allen. Maddox runs back to first, and there's two down now. In the bottom of the second, another scoreless inning would be huge for Ashton Roberts and these Spartans. By a few runs. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. The 2-2 two -two swung on and popped up out to right. That will drop for a base hit. Maddock rounds second. She's heading to third. The throw in plenty of time, and Anthony will get the tag. What a throw by Sidney Dolazeki over to Mick Anthony. And Penn State, as Maddock was trying to advance to third, Michigan State gets out of the inning. We'll head to the top of the third here on Big Ten Plus. Spartans lead by four. O for one today. First pitch by Volpe popped up out to center. Liana Jones eyeing it up, settling under it, and making the catch. One pitch, one out here for Maddie Volpe in the top of the third. A scoreless inning and a one, two, three inning would be huge for Volpe in these Nittany Lions. The pitch and try to have a longer at bat. The payoff pitch, that one outside. Off speed kind of broke on her a little high. It'll be a walk and another base runner. Colette Allen's reached both times today with Kayla Bain coming up. Bain. Was able to reach the front first. Is Volpe looking to get out of this third inning unscathed? Makes a peek at the wristband. The 2-2 two -two swing and a miss. And Volpe gets her third strike out of the game. Second of the inning. And Penn State will move to the bottom of the third. Down four here on Big Western. At the top of the Big Ten standings. Trying to get back. That pitch swung on and grounded over to the second baseman. The throw by Allen to Bashirs in time. And there's one down. And Ashton Roberts continues to... Pay dividends. Get some momentum looking for a base runner anyway. The one two swung on him, popped up into shallow right field, going back, calling off. Allen was Dolazeki and able to make the catch. Two up, two down for Ashlyn Roberts. And now here comes Caitlin Morrison. And Michigan State looking to continue. Reached her first time up, was hit by a pitch. Stepping in, first pitch swinging and pops it up out to right. Dolazeki charges on it, dives and makes the catch on the slide. A quick one, two, three inning for the Spartans and they head to the fourth, leading by four here. A one, one, swung on and popped up out into shallow left, going back and making the catch is Maddie Gordon was way in early. Had to run back into about standard outfield depth and now there's one down. Good piece of hitting though there by Ross. Good contact, just Gordon able to make the play. It will be, has the chance here to try to put her away the batter. Will be the 3-1. That one not in there for a strike, and it'll be a walk. Very similar pitch. That time Holly gets the call, and she'll make her way down to first. Second time she's reached via the walk today. Heading down to first base, and last time put a good barrel on it, just hit it right to Kayla Morrison. Well, one grounded right back to Volpe. Volpe's throw to first will be in time. Holly does advance the second, so not a worthless out there for Fox. Two down, and Michigan State will have a runner in scoring position with Sidney Dolazeki, who's Coach Crowell sitting in the dugout. Gets the call, the one-two. That one swung in and popped up out to right. Brunson goes over and makes the catch, reaching up to retire the side. Penn State keeps the Spartans off the scoreboard in the top of the fourth. Michigan State leads 4-0 as we head to the bottom of the fourth on Big Ten+. Plus. A 1-0 swung on and popped up out into shallow center. Alexis Ross comes on and makes the catch, and there's one down. Penn State making contact, but it's kind of been the issue so far, just kind of getting under it a little. Ball. 
No balls, two strikes, one out, bottom of the fourth. The 0-2, that one swung on and grounded. It will get through for a base hit. The throw not in time as Dolazaki tried to throw it to Bashirs, but Haley Brunson gets a base hit there for the Nittany Lions. They got a base runner here in the bottom of the fourth. Swipe bag, so can't imagine she'll be going here. The 0-1 swung on and popped up out to left. Going back to the wall. A no-doubter, a home run. Liana Jones, a two-run shot. And with one swing of the bat, the Nittany Lions have cut this deficit in half. It's 4-2. We talked about Penn State needing to get that hit. That's going to start this offense. That will do it for Liana Jones. Now cutting this lead in half to just two runs. And that ball thing they've done no matter what is they brought the crowd back into it. As you see this pitch, Liana Jones, perfect contact, driving it out to left center field and goes over the Illinois flag out in left center. And it's a home run. And the Nittany Lions have cut the deficit in half. It's 4-2. to two. Early then go back to the dugout. 3-1, that one low for a ball, and Giselle Hernandez doesn't know the count. Now she's going to take <laughs> her walk over. As we mentioned, the count was wrong on the scoreboard. Earlier had two and two. It was Adriana Baguetta, the third base coach, keep the inning alive. The one-two, that one swung. That one's going to be grounded fair. It's going to be a swinging bunt, and Michigan State's going to let it roll. And Clausewitz is going to reach to first. Interesting decision. That one was well in fair territory, but instead of picking it up and throwing it, Taylor and Hall... Taylor the 1-2, that one popped up out in the center. Ross going back, settles under it and makes the catch to retire the side. Not before a two-run home run from Liana Jones cuts the deficit in half. Michigan State leads 4-2 to two as we head to the fifth on Big Ten. Got to be careful with her because you can't get lazy and throw her something because she can drive it well with 11 home runs this season. The 2-2, two -two. swing and a miss and Volpe with another strikeout to her day. She's got four of them and there's one down in the... Will be the 1-1. One, one. That one grounded over to Maddox. She's able to block. It goes into foul territory. Her throw will not be in time, and it's going to get through and hit. Taylor go all the way out to the wall. Now going to second is Wash, and she's going to third as it got all the way into the corner. So on the throwing error, a single advances all the way to third, and there's a runner in scoring position. A lot more rare. The 1-2 swung and grounded right to Hernandez. A beautiful play in the throw in time. What a defensive play from Giselle Hernandez. Went right into her glove in the throw in time and celebrating with her teammates there. There's two down. Yeah, that ball. Error on a sack bunt. The 1-0 swung and popped up out to left. Going back to the wall. This one is gone. Kayla Bader first hit of the season and she makes it count a two run home run and the Spartans lead six to two. That ball was drilled out to left field. The people playing volleyball out behind the stadium are gonna have to watch out because that ball was absolutely smoked but now Michigan State adds more insurance runs up six to two fueling that lead. It was a two run home run from Liana Jones to make it a two run game. Kayla Bain gets them both back right there. Over the left field wall. Michigan State came out in a strong way. The 2-2 two -two from Namath, that one grounded right over to Paletti. She'll step on first to retire the side. Not before the Spartans add two. They lead by four. We head to the bottom of the fifth here on Big Ten Plus. Yourself to, if the, knowing that if the person hits the ball in play, you give it to make a play. Slow grounder, Anthony charges, and no throw there. Nearly gets away, and... Gordon's going to stay at second. So it was a slow ground ball over to Mick Anthony, and she really didn't have a play on it as she charged on it. And Gordon's able to get Gordon over there on first. It's 12 for 13 on stolen bases this year. The 1 2 swing and a miss in the dirt, and no run down by Morrison as Gordon stands on first. So it'll be a strikeout there for Taylor, and there's one down. 32 RBIs, six home runs. That one popped up out into right center. Coming on is Ross. She'll make the catch, the throw, no throw, as Gordon slides back in safely as Garcia flies out to center, and there's two down. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. Taylor, the payoff pitch. That one low for a ball, and it's a walk. Great at bat there for Brunson, and there's two on. What Michigan State was trying to avoid, Liana Jones coming up. Two on and two outs. The 3-0 outside, and it's a four-pitch walk, so just... Pitching around her there, basically uh, the unintentional, intentional walk there by the Spartans, and the bases are loaded with Emily Maddock up, or is Penn State maybe going to have a pinch hitter? And that looks like for the Nittany Lions here in the bottom of the fifth as the Spartans lead by four. That one grounded right back up the middle, bounces off Taylor. Will the throw be in time? It will just be in time. 
Taylor with a great play as she pitches over to beat out Maddock and keep the Nittany Lions off the scoreboard as we head to the top of the six. Michigan State leads by four here. Infield stays the same. And right now there's a huge gap between center fielder and right fielder as they put a shift on for Alexis Ross. I'm going to be chopped to Morrison. The throw to Paletti in time. Good effort by Ross to try to beat it out. And there's one down here in the top of the six. Maddock would have been safe, but made a great play. Keep them in front. First pitch to Holly popped up in foul territory. Coming on and making the catch is Giselle Hernandez. Two up, two down quickly for Namath as Penn State's trying to keep this a four-run game. Yeah, Giselle Hernandez. The left center and the infield comes in, ready for a slap it here from Fox, what she does a lot. The 2-0, that one chopped to Morrison. She charges on the pitch in time. It's a quick 1-2-3 inning for the Nittany Lions. They head to the bottom of the six, trailing by four on Big Ten+. Plus. The 2-1 swung on in line, right back off the glove of Taylor, able to keep it in front of her in the throw in time. Thought she was going to catch it on the line there, Chris. Dropped it, but still makes the throw over, and there's one down in the sixth. Yeah, did a great job of knocking that one down. Stat line is 0 for 1 with a run, a walk, and a hit by pitch. The 2-1 swung on and popped up out to center. Ross going back, settling under it, and making the catch, and there's two down for the Nittany Lions with Namath coming up. Yeah, seeing a lot of them. Trying to see if they can do something here. The bottom of the six gets something back. The 1-1 one, one swung on and grounded. That one's going to get over the head. The throw over will not be in time. Bashir's leaped up to try to make the play. Allen rustled over, tried to make the pitch. But Bashir's, I don't think she ever. As Taylor looking to get out of the side. The 1-2 swung on and grounded over to third. Anthony off the glove. This will skip into the outfield. Rounding second and heading for third. Gianna Paletti sliding in safely. And Gordon able to take second on the throw as well. So what looked like could have been the third out of the inning. Skips off Anthony. Out of trouble so far. This is their biggest challenge yet. The payoff pitch swung in line right back. But Taylor with an unbelievable catch. She almost had one earlier. Able to keep that one in the glove. And Michigan State. The 2-2 two -two swung on and popped up out to center. Liana Jones goes back and makes the catch, and there's one down here in the top of the seventh for the Nittany Lions. Good contact by Dola Zeki, but right to Liana Jones out there. For Penn State, they're looking for their first sweep since back in March when they swept the Hoosiers. That one gets through for a base hit, and Britton Bashirs will be two for four today. Perfectly placed ball in the infield, and Michigan State's got a base runner. So look yeah, try to at least get her a second. And Shiffrey, Michigan State still being aggressive in this one. That one grounded over her to Hernandez. Makes the throw over to second in time to Morrison for one. So able to get the lead runner out. Janae Wash will reach on a fielder's choice. But there is at first as Janae Wash is up at bat. The 1-1 one, one swung on and popped up off the inside of the bat. Making the catch is Gianna Paletti. And now there's two down. So after all that, we're back to the same situation. Only difference is Bila will be standing on first instead of Janae Walsh. E by four would love to add some more before they head to the seventh. The 2-2 two -two swing and a miss, and Namath gets the strikeout to end the inning. The Nittany Lions will need four to keep this game going as we head to the bottom of the seventh on Big Ten Plus. Just try to... Go through the seventh quietly, not have any momentum from Penn State. Payoff pitch, grounded through. Allen able to stop it, makes the throw high, and it's going to get off the dugout and step. Not looking good as Garcia. I don't know if she stepped on Bashir's foot. The payoff pitch swung on and pushed out to left field. Going back and making the catch is Janae Wash. There's one down as Nelson heads back, and there's the first out for the. Taylor, the 3-1, that one away for a ball, and it's a five-pitch walk, and Penn State's got second base runner here with Emily Maddock coming up as Jones. State, as you saw, had the rally visors on for them here as the Nittany Lions trying to rally a comeback. The 3-1, that one low for a ball, and it's a walk. Taylor confused where that one missed, but Penn State's loaded up the bases, and the tying run coming. Taylor has a two-strike advantage in this count. Taylor, the 0-2, that one swing and a miss, and it's a three-pitch strikeout, a big one there for Madison Taylor, and Penn State's down to their final out with Brooke Clausewitz coming up. Contact here, so Penn State should be able to score a couple if there is any. The 1-2, that one popped up out to shallow center, coming on and making the catch is Alexis Ross, and the Spartans get their second win in conference play this season with a 6-2 win over the Nittany Lions, and Michigan State gets the upset.
Yeah, Michigan State has done an incredible job under pressure. You know, they've bent, but they did not break in these situations, held on to their lead 6-2. to two. Kind of like Penn State yesterday in Saturday's game, Penn State got into trouble, but managed to get out of it. They flip the script. Michigan State comes away with the 6-2 to two victory, and Penn State, though, does win the series 2-1. to one. Yeah, Penn State does get the series win, but the Spartans able to win this one on Sunday. Michigan State will be back in action on Tuesday against the Wolverines for the Nittany Lions. A series win. They'll head to Columbus for a doubleheader, Chris, when they take on the Buckeyes.